Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to put together your final mosaic project. So for my subject, I am uh, creating a Luna moth. So the first thing, you want to get a heavy um, surface like mat board or cardboard or even a heavy cardstock paper. You want to glue your, um, your pieces onto a heavier piece of paper to prevent it from curling. So I've taken my, my moth drawing and now I'm transferring it to a piece of colored paper. So you're going to end up transferring your drawing twice, most likely, once onto um, one color of paper and once onto a background color of paper. So this paper is going to be the actual body of my Luna Moth. And the next paper is uh, is going to be my background pieces. So it works a little bit better. It fits together a little bit more like a puzzle if you do it this way. Um, so I'm actually tracing it three times. Once on the paper, I'll be gluing it on. So I have that area to fill in with my paper pieces and I'm not just trying to guess where they go. Once on colored paper. And then again on another sheet of colored paper, my background paper, which is what you'll see now. So I'm cutting out my moth and I'm going to trace the shape of the moth onto this pink background paper. Okay, my next step here is tracing it onto my background paper. So I'm taking the shape of that Luna Moth that I just cut out, placing it on top of a piece of colored paper and tracing it. And again, this is going to help it fit together more like a puzzle. If I've got all of those little background pieces that fit the contour, that fit the outer shape of my, my moth, then my mosaic will um, it will be more visually pleasing. It will look cleaner. It will look more put together and less like just random chunks of paper that have been glued down to a surface. We'll make it look more professional, more mosaic-like. After you've got your, um, your paper all situated, your next step is going to be to choose an area that you want to start in and start cutting that paper into strips. So you could start with your subject, with the image that you're creating, or you could start with the background. I chose to start with the background because it's such a large space. Um, I just wanted to get that large space out of the way first or at least get it started first. So you're cutting your paper into about one inch strips. And then you're cutting those one inch strips down into about one inch by one inch pieces. And you can make an adjustment. I'm not going to be measuring every one of your pieces with a ruler to make sure that it is actually one inch, but your work should look like a mosaic. There should not be large chunks of paper that are covering up the area. The point of creating a mosaic is using small colored pieces to create your image. So this project takes time. You want to take your time and uh, fill in your space. Treat it sort of like a puzzle. It's not exactly like a puzzle because there are multiple solutions to where you can place each piece, but it is sort of like a puzzle because they all, uh, they all go together. You'll notice that I'm using a glue mixture with a paintbrush. You can also use a glue stick. Most likely for this project, you will be using a glue stick. It's 
really helpful while you're filling in your background pieces if you try to get the pieces that um, that fit around your subject. Like I'm trying as I'm going along to fit in all of those little background pieces that are touching my moth. Um, and I'm trying to get those pieces applied first because those are really the ones that are going to make the biggest difference. Um, those are the ones that are going to have more of that puzzle feel. Those pieces were made to go in that area because that, that template was cut out. So keep that in mind when you're working. Try to keep track of where each strip goes. I wouldn't recommend just cutting your entire background into strips and, and going along. Um, that may work for you. It depends on what you're doing. But if you're following these steps and if you've traced out an image, then it's helpful uh, at least to get those parts where they meet, to get those aligned. Again, this project just takes a long time. It's not that it's difficult, it just takes time. So don't, uh, don't put it off. Don't let yourself get distracted. Make sure that you focus. It's good to take breaks and let your uh, fingers rest in between a little bit, but don't let time slip away from you. This is not something that you can just whip up and make up on a whim when it's, uh, when it's close to the deadline. <laughs> 